So most of the people on Twitter already know about this, but at PAX, there was actually a Mortal Kombat King of the Hill little panel thing, and I actually participated, and I fucking won a mouse. It was crazy. I'm actually using it right now. And a lot of people on Twitter was like, Leafy, tell us what happened, dude. What the fuck happened? I want to know. So, uh, yeah. So what happened was, I was fucking walking around, minding my own business, and I happened to see a huge-ass uh, monitor or whatever with a uh, Mortal Kombat plane, and everybody was, like, surrounding this huge little panel and uh, I walked up and I saw this girl um, like facing this guy and she was playing Melina and she was just destroying him just it was like flawless she could the guy couldn't even touch her and she was just getting like 40% combos with Melina but after watching her for a bit I realized that she wasn't that good now she wasn't bad and I'm definitely not a Mortal Kombat expert but I knew that she wasn't like like professional level right so I was like fuck this dude I could win a t-shirt I'm gonna get in that line so I got in line and waited about like 30 minutes and I just watched her destroy person after person after person just, just fucking wrecking them right I think she was on her 17th kill when uh, this guy came up and the announcer started like getting all quiet he's just like oh my god and I'm like what the fuck what's wrong with this guy and he's like it's Ryan so the announcer does some huge fucking promo for this random guy called Ryan right and to paint the picture he's this short little Asian guy and uh, he's like Ryan's here Ryan's here He's fucking here! And, uh, t t apparently, Ryan won the MKX tournament at PAX, and he also went downstairs and did the same panel they did yesterday, and won, like, 25 in a row, right? So, apparently, the rules went like this, okay? Obviously, if you die, you have to get off the stage, the winner continues, but if you win two in a row, you get a t-shirt, and if you win five in a row, you get a crazy awesome mouse, right? And if you win ten in a row, you get their brand new mechanical chroma keyboard, which is, like, a $200 keyboard, Holy Holy shit. But basically what goes down is again, the announcer's like, who's going to win this? And everyone's like, yo, the girl's going to just, you know, destroy Ryan. Ryan's done. And Ryan just fucking fists the girl pretty much. Okay, not literally. That'd be fucking weird. But Ryan just like destroys the girl. Like it's not even a comparison. The girl tries to do all of her cool little moves and Ryan just like blocks and does a 50 hit combo. Like it's it's insane. It's over. Ryan just completely destroys the girl. There's no hope. To be honest, the whole fight just kind of looked like a little chihuahua in the middle of the ocean trying to fight a fucking Loch Ness monster. Like, that's seriously what went down. Ryan just destroyed her. But after the girl gets completely destroyed, she, you know, walks off the stage crying. Um, I'm <laughs> completely joking. She got her keyboard and stuff. But uh, she gets off the stage, and Ryan just proceeds to kill another 10 people, right? Just left and right, no one can even get close to even touching him, right? But then out of nowhere, this tall black dude walks through the line, and he's like, I want to fight Ryan, okay? And everyone's like, who the fuck is this guy? And the announcer, like, talks to him a little bit. And the announcer gets up and he starts freaking out. Like, you can tell the announcer is hyped. And he's like, Reggie here is an Evo champion and he will be fighting Ryan. So the whole crowd is like crazy hyped at this point in time. And uh, Ryan just stands up and he's just like, bring it on, you fucking piece of shit. I need to get into my storytelling force for this. So they sit down. Shit's intense. They both pick the same character. Shinnok on Shinnok. And Ryan just gets fucking destroyed. It was like seeing a goldfish fight a fucking Loch Ness Monster. You know what? Ryan actually did get a few rounds in. But there was no comparison, dude. Like, he, he got fucking... He got fisted, okay? He got... <laughs> he got fisted, man. But after this, they're done. The announcer gives them both, like, crazy amount of prizes. And they both leave. And at that point in time, I was up, okay? So I stood up. I got up in the chair. And I was nervous, dude. My heart was fucking beating fast. But the first dude I have to go up against is this fat-ass fucking dude. He has a fedora on, and he also has a neck beard. And he sits down, and he's like, hmm, greetings. And I'm like, what the fuck? Hi, dude. But we go into picking our fucking characters, and I pick my reptilian bro reptile, and then I immediately start hissing at everybody. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> That'd be fucking hilarious, though. No, but uh, I wanted to go with Hermag, but my combos were too messy, so I picked Takeda. And uh, as soon as I pick Takeda, he just looks at me, and he's just like, huh, figures. And I'm like, okay, uh, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, he picks uh, Quan Chi. We uh, load into the game. He's just sitting there being cocky as fuck. And uh, I just shit on him. It's just literally he sucked. 
and I just fucking owned him. It was just easy, right? And he was trying hard. You know that this guy wasn't new to Mortal Kombat. He was trying to do his combos and shit, but I was like all over the place just shooting him with my wires just like I was fucking Spider-Man, okay? But yeah, in the beginning, I wanted just to get the t-shirt, so I got my other win. I was so happy when I got the t-shirt. But after that, to make the story a little bit shorter, I just wrecked another, like, seven guys. I was on my eighth win, right? And I was like, dude, I might actually get this mechanical keyboard, dude. Holy freaking shit, dude. And uh, then they just cut the panel off. They're just like, sorry, guys. New panel. We're going to be doing Rocket League. You're going to have to get off. And I'm like, dude, I was two wins away from the mechanical keyboard. And he's just like, sorry, buddy. Here's your mouse. And I was like, whatever, man. I still got a mouse. No, but I won a uh, Saber RGB laser mouse. It's like a $120 mouse, so I was pretty hyped. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the story today. And leave a like for, uh, for fucking Ryan. Why not? <laughs> Peace, guys. Thank you.